Yo, welcome back, everybody, to a brand new Pichu Light Pokemon Card 151 deck video. Today, I'm going to be looking at the brand new Blastoise CX today. Blastoise CX really impressed me in today's video. And Blastoise is a really strong attacker. In fact, one would say it's a pretty solid card with, of course, that attack, Twin Cannons, that for two water energy does 140 damage, and you can discard up to two basic water energy from your hand, and then it does 140 for each energy discarded in this way. So in total, you can do 280 damage with Twin Cannons, which of course hits the magic number against V-Stars. If we were to play something like Cleansing Gloves, we are then going to be hitting for 310 damage, which can KO Mew VMAX and Gardevoir EX with Blastoise. And of course, we can play our Blastoise with Palkia V-Star to Star Portal to try to build up our Blastoise. Now, the way I've decided to build my Blastoise deck today is actually going to be with the Curly Engine. And I'll get into why I think the Curly Agalid Engine is actually the best way to play Blastoise in in just a sec before we do of course if y'all are new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below we are trying to maybe see if we can hit 49,000 subs slash 50k subs um by paradox rift so you haven't subbed yet uh, make sure to subscribe down below if you're interested in the content i post here and of course if you want to leave a like and video show your support on the content it'd be greatly appreciated to do today's like goal for today's 151 deck video is 400 likes y'all been coming with the like goals and the support on all the content so far with 151 and i've been appreciative of that so appreciate y'all once again for all the support on the channel but yeah blastoise with curlia i think is actually the best way to play blastoise so the way i've seen blastoise be played is with bibberol I don't think Bibberl is actually good with Blastoise. Now, Bibberl does, of course, have that ability where you can draw cards, right? It lets you draw cards, and that's good. The problem with Blastoise is you have to make sure you're getting energy in your hand with Twin Cannons every turn. And that means you're probably going to have to play Superior Energy Retrieval, which put you up the four energy back. And getting multiple energy back is good because you can also then make sure you're attaching to another Blastoise on the bench, um, which is why I think Retreat Superior is better than normal Energy Retrieval in here. On top of that... You can also, you have to discard two cards from your hand. Now, when you're playing Shen Pao Bax Calibur, it's good to play Bibberol because you can play the Retrieval and then put all the energy and play Bax Calibur. You can't do that with Bibberol in this deck because you'd have to go Bibberol first before you Retrieval. And sometimes your hand is really clogged up and you don't draw any cards. And you draw one card and it's not a card you want. With this deck, you can use Curlia to draw more cards in a turn and then still play the Retrieval. And that's why I think Curlia is good. You also get access to Gallade, which can help you find Boss's Order and Raihan, which is nice for um, the uh, Blastoise. And Gallade can also Buddy Catch for an Irida, which can guarantee you a superior energy retrieval, which is why I prefer the Curlia Gallade engine within this deck. Uh, before we get into the video, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, if you're ever looking for any PCG Live pack codes, make sure to get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cabin sells codes line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set, like, of course, Pokemon 151 codes, or you want to get an older set or IRL product too, Card Cabin does sell IRL stuff over there too. If you get anything at Card Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5 discount on your order. Help the channel. Help yourself out and help out Card Cabin. So big shout out to Card Cabin. Make sure to check them out and use code LDF if you get any codes over there. Also, check out the Shovel Squad down below every Monday. I post a new video over on their channel. You can also check out my second YouTube channel down below for some extra content too. And you can check out the Mental Might podcast down below. Every Friday, me and Linty upload an episode of our pod down there. So if you are interested in podcasts, make sure you go check it out too. But yeah, this list is pretty clean. And I did enjoy the Curly Agalite engine. Some other support cards. Again, we're playing the Palkia. It's a great early game attacker. And it also gives you Star Portal, which can get you energy onto your Blastoise. And you can even play Raiding Greninja with the Palkia, which if your opponent does not have Mana Fee in play, you can Moonlight Shuriken. Sometimes take a KO out of nowhere. Another really nice card I have in the deck is actually Cleffa. Now, this might not seem like the greatest card ever, but we actually sometimes start the game off with a pretty small hand. And I find that having Cleffa is good because you can just grasp and draw. And if they Iono you, you're still drawing six cards. Plus, hopefully at that point, you have two Ralts in play so that you can do double Curlia. And then you can see almost up to like 10 cards in one turn, which basically you're just trying to draw more cards to try to see energy. So you go Cleffa, Cleffa gets KO'd, you go Blastoise. You drew a bunch of cards of Cleffa, you do a couple Curlias, you find a couple Water Energy, and then out of nowhere, you're hitting with Twin Cannons turn two. And that's one of the big things that makes Cleffa so good in here. I thought Cleffa actually was a great card in the deck because a lot of the time I found that in the early game, my hand was extremely small. Even with a couple Curlias, I'm still only working with like five cards. And those five cards were not two Water Energies, and I struggled to take a KO with Blastoise turn two. But when you have Cleffa, you can immediately try to burst into a KO. Even if you get iono you're still seeing six new cards plus a top deck. So you're still seeing like seven cards in one turn try to attack a Blastoise. So I am a huge fan of playing the Cleffa within this deck. Um, that's really about it for the list. Everything else is normal stuff you'd see in any deck. So let's go show off Blastoise and show off why this card really impressed me in today's video. All right, let's get into this game with Blastoise. We open up with a fine enough hand. No turn one VIP or Irida to go with it, but Cleffa's not bad. And I don't mind starting with Cleffa because we can build up a big hand and maybe get a turn two Blastoise. My opponent leads with a Squawkabilly. 
That doesn't give me much information. Uh, this might be Maridon, which would suck, actually. I don't want to lose Cleffa. Hmm. I'm just going to pass. I, I don't know. I'm just going to hope Cleffa doesn't die here. We got Hurricane Blastoise for next turn. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully the Cleffa does not get knocked out turn one. That would be fantastic. Unfortunately, we were unable to get any Ralts in play for Battle VIP Pass, but it's what happens when you play VIP. You don't start with it sometimes. But we'll see if it's Maridon. I'm hoping it's not Maridon. Because, again, I don't want to lose my Cleffa turn one. Gape, Jaw, Bog. It is Zork V-Star. All right. I think we can beat this. We just have to trade evenly into it. Which might be tough, actually, if they take the first knockout. Palkia actually might be a liability in this matchup. The more I'm thinking about it. They can't KO a Blastoise in one hit, but they can KO Palkia in one hit, which is actually pretty bad. Hmm. Yeah, it's not good, actually. This could be a tough matchup. They get rid of a Path and a Dodrio. Okay. Path, still let him knock me out because they only have the justified gloves. There's Great Ball, gets my Gengar. That is not a Doduo. Do they have a Professor's Research in their hand to synergize? No, they have an Ultra Ball, which is also pretty good. All right, that's not good. They got more Pokemon in play. We need to find Artisan. I need to get rid of that Gape Job Bog ASAP. We're going to get access to Cleffa here, which is good. Let's we'll see if that matters. I don't really want to lose this boss either. Hmm, I think get rid of the Water Energy with this Ultra Ball and then my top deck. I want to keep the boss around. They get a Squovit with that. Okay. Interesting. Playing Squovit with Dodrio. All right. I mean, that's interesting. Do they have anything else? Hopefully not, so that I can maybe set up. Because I don't want them... If they take the first two prize knockout, it gets sketchy. But again, they can't watch out a Blastoise. Ooh, boss. That's super annoying. Oh, my God. No, dude. My Palkia. Now it's stuck in the active. Great. Not good. It's actually really annoying they did that. Damn. Now I gotta find Switch. Can we find Irida? Alright, we got Switch. Yeah, we're chilling. Nice try. Alright, we're just gonna... I'm just gonna grab Blastoise here. Screw it. We can draw seven cards. I hate to lose an Iono and a boss, but... We get the big toys in play, and then we can Grasping Draw here. Looking for some cards. That's pretty good. Couple Ralts, and energy's good. We have Irida, Retrieval. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Hopefully, we can knock out this Zork next turn. I mean, even if they kill the Palkia, they're going to struggle to kill Blastoise in one hit. So, if we can just kind of keep up the Blastoise pressure, it should be okay. We can probably win the prize trade with that, anyways. Uh, what am I taking a knockout with Palkia at some point, though? They do have the V Star, and they have another Zork. I can't get rid of that Gabe Job Bog, unfortunately. And there's a Research. They must have top decked that, maybe? They had to have. Ooh, Raging Alakazam. That actually is annoying. That might help them knock out my Blastoise. Oof, that's actually not great. They can use Alakazam to maybe Kale Blood. But even then, like, again, they can't do 360 damage. As long as we just bench stuff and play around the... Yeah, if we just bench stuff and play around the Gape Job Bog, it's probably fine. There's a Great Ball. They haven't benched a Doe Duo yet, which is pretty good, to be honest. Are they going to use their V-Star power here? They've already researched... If they lose Squawk a Billy in the active spot, I'm going to knock it out. We could do Greninja this turn, actually. Knock out Squovit and potentially a Doe Duo. Yeah, Greninja's on the table. Maybe we do... If we can find one more energy, I might actually just Greninja here. Like, if they put Gengar or Doe Duo, yeah, yeah. We can just go Radiant Greninja here. I think that's going to be the play. They don't have a Manaphy in play. So if they're if they're not going to knock me out this turn, we're going to go Greninja. If they're going to knock me out, we're going to try to KO Blastoise. They've already done research, so they can't draw any more cards. Or they can't boss me, I mean. Cleffa Living's not terrible either. It's a nice little, like, wall kind of thing. I guess they can knock it out with Alkazam. Which I guess is what they're planning to do. But they actually leave Squawkabilly in the active. I still think we want to go for the, Gr uh, the Greninja here. Alright, we'll see we draw. Irida. No energy. Alright, well, let's level ball for Ralts. And we'll play the Artisan. We'll use Artisan for another Squirtle. Only one Ralt, so I'm not too sure about that. We'll play Irida. Grab Palkia. And what? Palkia Level Ball? Grab Palkia and Blastoise. Well, they might Iono me.
I grab these two. That's kind of bait to grab the VIP, but they might Iono me, right? So, all right, we need one energy off Greninja here to knock out these two Pokemon. Yikes, and I whiffed the knockout with Radiant Greninja. Unfortunate. That's actually really annoying. Damn it. Yeah, I have no way to go Greninja here. I can take a knockout with Palkia. Then they get a three prize KO here, which feels pretty bad. I think I have to go for the knockout, though, with Palkia. That sucks. I really wanted the Greninja KO. That would have been way better. We could have went Greninja here, knocked out Doduo, and Squilvit. Feels so bad. That's fine. Not much I can do. Wish I maybe played Radiant Serena. That would have gone pretty hard here. Yeah, they can have they can take a three prize KO, but we're gonna have to try to recover from that. Squirtle and Artisan. Not the best prizes. We have retrievals, so as long as we find an energy next turn, we have the guaranteed um knockout on the Zoark with Blastoise. Again, they're gonna struggle to KO Blastoise anyway, so we might be okay. Alright. If they knock out Cleffa too, they have to take damage off Blastoise, which is good. I, again, they can't one-shot a Blastoise, so I think maybe we'll be okay. They can't one-shot a Blastoise. Really would have liked to have um, done the Greninja, but that's fine. There's another Gapejaw Bog. Are we going to get iono to this turn is going to be the question. They, there's no way they're not going to Iono me here. They play a Palpad. Hmm. They get back boss iono. Okay. I need to set up more Curlias and need to get Gallied. So they're going to kill my Cleffa. Maybe they're not going to Iono me unless I get off the prizes. Because surely... Oh, they're actually going to not... Ooh, they're letting my Cleffa live. Interesting. They can't kill Blastoise. Even if they one-shot it, Palkia can come in and knock out the Zork because our benches are full. So Palkia... And the damage on the Zork lets us kill with Palkia. So Palkia kind of puts Zork in a weird spot where they have to kill the Palkia this turn. Not killing Cleffa is actually really good, though. I'm actually surprised it didn't take the three-prize KO this turn. I'm really surprised it didn't do that. There's Dodrio. All right, we'll see if they got the Iono. Maybe they do have it. Because they didn't kill Cleffa. Because they could have Iono to five. Avery. All right, that's fine. We can get rid of those two. I don't really care about those anymore. Cleffa can definitely go. Especially with that Alakazam in play. Hmm. Again, I wish I had more Curlias, but it's fine. I'll see what they do here. They have five cards in hand. I could have maybe got rid of Squirtle maybe instead of the Greninja. Greninja, we could still use to try to draw more cards. Mm. If I whip the kill on the Zork, we're probably in a big, 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 uh, big trouble. Whooshy. I got a damage pump. I don't think that really matters. No, it does. I got to put damage on the Dodru. Okay, never mind. I got the knockout. They are in top deck mode, so that's good. I mean, they can, what, see four cards next turn? I guess it doesn't really matter. Hmm. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this knockout this turn. Let's see if we draw. Irida, that is not a water energy. I need a water energy to KO them. That's all I need is literally just a water energy. Okay, let's do Artisan for Ralts. Is there any other play to make? I can't really KO any one prizers. It wouldn't really make any sense. I have to kick this two prize knockout. Yeah, we just need a water energy. Gotta get a water energy here. I'm not gonna go Rickety Blast just yet. Alright, come on. Give me a water one time. No, dude! I actually whiffed the KO. Bruh, no shot. That's so bad. Yikes. It's a pretty bad whiff, folks. Not going to lie. That is not good. No water energy in sight. Yikes. Probably could have put that there, actually. We can just... We can just switch into... The Squirtle. I should put the energy there, not on the other Blastoise. That was a misplay. Actually, that was... No, yeah, I definitely should have put the energy on the other, other thing, because I just burned my other switch. Okay, I should have spread the energy out. Now they can punch me if they boss my other Blastoise. That's not good. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I should have put the energy on the other Blastoise. That was a misplay. And we might get punished pretty bad for that if they find boss, which they only have one Dodrio in a four-card hand. Hopefully they don't got it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was just a bad whiff, man. That was a very unfortunate whiff. See what they do here. 
If I KO'd them there, we probably just would have won the game. Because they can't knock me out and they just go retrieval. Is that really? That's a huge whiff. Come on, Curlia. You're supposed to be good. All right, let's see what they got. Three cards in hand. Is there a boss? They have one Dodrio and they've already played it. Do they have another Dodrio? They could do World's Greatest Skullvit try to get there. That'd be pretty funny. Imagine they go Skullvit into the boss. Painful spoons. We're probably gonna spread the energy, spread the damage out. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Maybe I sh maybe I could have bossed other Zoark. Maybe that thing can't attack me. Huh. All right. Well, here we go. Still winnable. Just gotta take back-to-back -back KOs. Okay, we got an Iono. Should we play the Iono? We already have, like, the energy in hand. But I can attach this to this guy and then Iono them and then... Yeah, I think it's fine to Iono here. We just need two energy. Surely we'll get two energy off this Iono. Surely there's two energy on here. There's one. We got Curlia two. Before we do Curlia, I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to have refinement first. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Because I was going to say, there's cards at the bottom of the deck we can draw. Or there's cards that weren't shuffled. Sorry, water energy that weren't shuffled is what I meant to say. But we got the knockout, and I don't think they can one-shot Blastoise. So we might be in the clear. We'll see. No, I'm just going to twin cannons. I don't think I need to do anything else. Just knock him out. And we will see if we win here. I don't know if they can one-shot my Blastoise. We have a lot of HP right now. There's not enough damage on the board, so we'll see. We might we might have got them. We also Iona them, potentially into bad cards, maybe. But yeah, I don't know if they can knock out my last Blastoise here to win the game. And I have game in hand. If they knock out Blastoise, all I do is retrieval into the waters, and then we win. So I think we might have game. We'll see if they can kill my Blastoise here. Let's see if they can actually pull it off. I don't think they can, but we'll see. I mean, if they're playing Spongy Gloves, they can do it, I guess. But no shot they play Spongy Gloves. You never tech for the Blastoise matchup. It's never... Never a possibility. We'll see what they got. They got four cards here. They got the zooming draw still. Okay. Could Iono me out of the retrieval, which would force us to find Irida, but we have double Curlia. We would see a lot of cards. Because we have two Curlias, two off of Iono, one top deck. Yeah, we'd still be drawing a decent chunk of cards just to find an Irida, which wins us the game. And they do have the Iono. So we just got to find an Irida here. We'll see what the Iono gives me. I debated Super Rod and Energy back, which I should have done. We do get an Energy, though, and Boss, which is good. But let's see if they can KO Blastoise this turn. They have to one-shot Blastoise. They've already done double Dodrio. I don't even think they have the attack. My opponent did double Dodrio. They Squoveted. Unless they draw an Energy off Squoveted. I actually don't think they have the attack here. Did they whiff the Energy? Yo, they might have whiffed the attack. Yo, Blastoise? Yo, one time? If they actually whiff, bro, we're vibing. They whiffed, and we win. I mean, yeah, we just had to curly into a way to hit the Zork. I had boss in hand, too. So if I just draw another energy there, I would just win the game with Blast Race anyways. All right, let's see who we're up against here in this match. Uh, I think we're going second. Ooh, Charizard. No, we're going first. I thought we were going second. Battle VIP, what a top deck. My opponent actually starts with this Mawile, which is annoying. Um, I guess that's fine, though. Do I even want Palkia in this matchup? Yeah, I, I do want Palkia. We'll grab Cleffa. Grab these two. We're going to go for Cleffa, I think. That's fine. Get the Rolls out of here. Could have got Greninja 2 to threaten the turn 2 thing. We can do that next turn, though, for Lucky. I don't think we're going to be able to Greninja, though. I mean, we would need a lot, even with this hand. I don't think it's possible. We'll just go into Cleffa, and it's fine. If they Tempting Trap, it's really not that big of a deal, because I'm going to Grasping Draw anyways. There's a battle VIP pass. So they also have one. Look at that. So yeah, Charizard is kind of just like... I don't know. It's kind of just a back and forth. There's not really any way to play the game or play the match out correctly. It's just back and forth hits. Look at that. Double battle VIP. Now, if they put Entei and Pidgeot in play, there's two easy knockouts for Blastoise right there. So that's good. Hmm. If they bench lock themselves and don't get mana fee, that would also be really good. See, I didn't get Raiding Greninja there. So maybe it's also bait that they don't think I have it. So if they don't VIP for a Raiding Greninja, they don't. Or not, not Greninja, mana fee, I mean. So now I have the ability to Greninja them and they don't get a uh, they don't get a thing. <laughs> yeah, we can Greninja them, I guess. They didn't get a, a 
mana fee down, so that's good. I don't think I'm penny NT, I guess. We'll see what they got here. Tempting Trap is fine, doesn't really do anything. That's why I also wanted to move the Rulse, because it's like, yeah, okay, we need to put Rulse out of the active spot, or else they're going to Tempting Trap. They do have Arvin, which can get them Force Seal and Rare Candy for Charizard next turn. I don't have a way to counter that, unfortunately. We need another Squirtle in play. But yeah, we can save up for the Greninja play here, I think, and then drop a Greninja on them. We can go knock out two things, knock out Pidgeot with Blastoise, maybe try to kill a Charizard. I think it's possible to win this game, actually. It's very possible. I got faith. I got faith. Okay, they have an Ultra Ball. They're going to play that now. Interesting. I mean, if I can draw an Iono here, that'd be nice. I'm probably just going to ear it up for Rare Candy Blastoise, though. They got a Luminion and Boss. Okay, I like seeing Boss get discarded. All right, what are they going to Ultra Ball for here? Pidgeot? Oh, they're going for the Pidgeot next turn. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully we can draw an Iono so we can get rid of that. That'd be nice. That would be pretty good. They're going to play the Four Seal Stone now. Okay, please let me draw an Iono. I have Curlia, I guess. But I do need to mention another Squirtle just in case. But, bro, I really want to get Iono here. Because they clearly have Rickany Pidgey on hand. I'm kind of surprised they did that, to be honest. But yeah, if we can go knock out Entei, Raiding Greninja, two Charmanders, well, we can kill them all well, too. Artisan. Can we get a level ball for Curlia? Get rid of Ultra Ball. Yo, give me... No Iono rip. Okay, that's fine. Well, Artisan, attach, grab Squirtle. No Iono. Would have been nice to play Iono here. Punish my opponent for doing that, but it is what it is. Can't win them all. Yeah, we gotta find... Yeah, we gotta find Greninja. We just get two energy. We can use it, though. Alright. Grasping Draw. Let's see what we got. Nice. If I kept the Ultra Ball, I could have had the Greninja. This hand's not bad, though. This hand's not bad at all. Yeah, I really want to KO the... Uh... Thing. Oh, you know what? Oh, they could knock out my Palkia, though, with Entei this turn, actually. I just realized. They can KO my Palkia with Entei here. That would be pretty bad, actually. Hmm. Yeah, they can KO Palkia with Entei. That wouldn't be ideal. There's the rare candy Pidgeot. That's fine. We can try to KO Pidgeot, too. I mean, I could Gallade next turn, maybe, and go boss KO Pidgeot, which would also be good. Pidgeot's a nice target for the, the Blastoise. Well, let's see if they can get a knockout. I mean, they need Rare Candy Blastoise, a Rare Candy Charizard Switch, and a boss. And they already got rid of a boss, and they have one card to get. They already popped the four seal stone. So it's unlikely they have it, but we'll see. We'll see what they got. They're probably just going to retreat Mawile into Entei. But if they attack with Entei, that's fine with me too. The question is, do I promote Squirtle or Blastoise? I don't know. I don't want them to bench Manaphy. I kind of really just want to go Greninja now. I think it's correct to do Greninja now. Right, we can knock out Charmander. We can knock out both Charmanders. Oh, they don't attack me. Really? They don't even do Tempting Trap? Okay. If I can find Le Boss here, we're chilling. Yeah, we're chilling if we get Boss. No, no Boss. Man, I should have the Ultra Ball. I could have got Galley too. No, we got Greninja, though, which is nice. Hmm. Unfortunate. Cleansing gloves. Put that there. 90. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I put the glove. I'm like, oh, Marwell's weak to Psyche. Or Marwell's like Pokemon, but it doesn't matter. Let's grasping draw for one card. Not going to Iono, obviously. Another retrieval. Look at that. Yeah, next turn we can go Greninja, which I think is what I'm going to try to do. We're going to try to go Greninja next turn and... I really want a Greninja now. No, they Iona me. Well, they're probably going to get double Charizard, though. As long as I can knock out Charmander and a Mawile, it's fine. Okay, it's not the... Not the greatest hand ever, to be honest. No energy. Hmm. We'll see what they... We'll see what happens. My opponent's got a six-card hand here. They probably got another Rare Candy Charizard combo. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Yeah, I'm really surprised that they didn't do Mawile. They could have at least Mawile my Cleffa last turn, which I'm surprised they didn't do. I'm surprised they didn't Mawile my Cleffa. They could have trapped it in the active, which, had I got boss, I could have went immediately after Pidgeot and knocked it out. If they get tr double Charizard here, that's going to be pretty annoying. <laughs> I would not appreciate double Charizard this turn. A 
escape rope. Sure, have my Squirtle. Clefa staying alive, honestly, isn't terrible. The fruit tree pivot's actually low-key pretty good. Hmm. They're probably gonna go... If they go Entei, that's good. If they go Entei, that's fine. Maybe we save the Greninja play, actually. I don't know. I need to get Palkia V-Star down. They can't boss me this turn. They've already Ionoed, so that's good. So Palkia stays alive for another turn, which I do like. We'll see if my opponent goes into the escape rope. If they go Entei, we KO Entei with Blastoise. Charmander? Do they not have a knockout? Are they passing again? They are passing. Okay, sure. Hmm. They're playing a passive, which is fine. It's fine with me. I probably should have level ball to shuffle the deck, actually. Okay, but there's Palkia. Another rare candy Blastoise here. Do I really want to do that, though? Look at that. Rare candy Blastoise. Let's go back into Cleffa. Grasping Draw. Until I can try to boss out one of those Pokemon. I really do not want them to get double Charizard, though, because I think part of our win con has to be to Greninja. We can still knock out three VXs, fine, but, you know, I want to make sure that play's available. I need to make sure I don't ever lose Switch, by the way, because I don't want to lose to a Mawile. Though I could snipe it and knock it out with Greninja, which, I mean, yeah, we probably have to. Hopefully next turn we can start attacking. <laughs> like, any day now would be nice. There's Iono, sure. We had the Greninja, too. That's fine. Hmm, okay. Not terrible. There's Rare Candy, Charizard. Uh-oh. All right. I mean, we can still Greninja those two Pokemon, which we're probably going to have to go for. We'll see what they get off this Charizard. Well, actually, if I go Greninja, I have to retreat. Maybe I shouldn't have Rare Candy Blastoise. Hmm. I think I might just take a boss KO, to be honest. Just KO their Pidgeot. I think I might just KO Pidgeot, actually. I really want to do Greninja, though. We might have to just try to two-shot a Charizard, though, too. I don't know. This is kind of awkward. We'll see if they go with here. They've already Iono'd, so they're not bossing me, obviously. They're just going to kill Cleffa. We could use Switch into Greninja and take the two knockouts, but I don't know. If they get triple Charizard, unfortunately, the Greninja plays not on the table at the moment. Would actually suck if they did that. Again, we can just kill Pidgeot, which I'm fine with. Yeah, I'm fine with knocking out Pidgeot here. Could kill Entei so it doesn't get pennied. That would also be okay. But we, there, the Pidgeot's just sitting there, ready to be KO'd. Lost City, sure. Hmm. Man, I really want to go for Greninja, though. I should have... I have to burn a Switch to do Greninja. We're going to kill their Mawile instead of Lost One anyway, so... So I guess it's actually okay to go for the Greninja, because we're going to kill their Mawile and it's going to Lost Zone, so I can't get it back. So it's fine, actually. Yeah, it's actually fine. Yeah, you're getting Greninja. How you feel about that? All right. Let's do this. Refinement. Away of VIP. Nice. And energy's good. Refinement. Away. Ultra Ball? Sure. I think that's fine. Because, yeah, now we can maybe win going boss boss. Let's do this, sure. Star portal. And they can't knock out any two prizers yet, which is good. All right, knock those two things out. Send them to the lost zone. Yeah, my while being off the board is good, I guess. All right, let's see what our prizes have. Superior retrieval. Okay, what's this one got for us? Prize number six usually pretty good. One in six. I always trust one in six. Hey, the second boss. Let's go. what I tell you? So if we don't get Ionoed, I have boss next turn on Pidgeot. But we can probably find Gallade. We'll see what they do. They are down two Ionos. Actually, I'm pretty sure this deck only plays two Iono. They have no Iono left. I might be chilling, actually. All right, we'll see what they do here. Greninja did its job. It took the took the two tries knockout. So he's got to go KO Entei, KO Pidgeot. I think we just boss KO Entei here next turn, and that should win us the game. We just boss KO Entei. And let's say if they penny it, this gets kind of awkward, actually. If they penny the Entei, this gets really awkward. 
There's Manaphy. A little too late for you, though, buddy. They could boss a Curlia, which... I mean, if they're out of Iono, though, that's probably not a big deal if they boss a Curlia. If they're, if they're out of Iono, that's not going to matter. See if they go for the Curlia KO. There's also Liz... Let me, let me, let me, let me maybe do Greninja again. There's Nest Ball. I don't think they really have much left since I just took them down. There's Charizard. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to KO Ente here if they don't Penny it. If they do Penny it, then we'll just go hit Charizard, hit Charizard, boss Pidgeot or something. We'll see if they play more Ionos. I mean, if they're playing more than two, so be it. They're probably playing at least three. I don't think their deck played four. Pretty sure the list... I'm, I'm just going to... You know, I'm just going to go open up Limitless right now, and I'm going to go take a look. I'm pretty sure... Like, I remember there was, like, two Ionos. All right, what are they Pidgeot for? I wasn't even looking. Choice Belt? That's fine. Palkia still lives. Okay. Uh, let's see here. They're playing the winning list. Two Iono. Yeah. They do play three boss, though. All right, let's see what they do. We can knock out... Um, yeah, we'll knock out Entei. No, they have the Penny. Okay, unfortunate. There goes that. Yeah, it was, it was either we went Greninja or we bossed. I think we had to just go for the boss. That sucks they pennied. Okay, we're going to have to just two-shot Charizard and then boss Pidgeot for game. I could boss Pidgeot right now, though, which isn't bad. They're out of Entei, though. It's fine. I also don't... If I knock out Pidgeot, they kill Pelkey. I think I actually want to avoid that. Yeah, I think we have to just two-shot Charizard. Okay, what's our top deck? Rod? Hmm. Okay. We'll do one refinement. I don't want to refine it too many times. No, oh, we don't have to play the retrieval. Look at that. Okay. Twin cannons. I could have uh, I could have attached a Palkia, actually. I probably should have. We can attack with Palkia. I should have attacked. Well, yeah, I should have attached a Palkia. Maybe I should have played the retrieval, actually. Yeah, I probably should have. We hit them pretty hard, though. We can boss the Charizard next turn and then boss Pidgeot for game. That's our win con. They still can't kill Palkia. Yeah, I don't think I ever... They could go Charizard this turn. Radiant Charizard anyways, or Retreat. They have to retreat. They're, they're retreating. They're trolling. Yeah, I misplayed. I should have attached a Palkia. I should have still put energy in play that turn. That was actually kind of stupid. Should have retrieved at the end of the day. Yeah, I should have. Again, I don't think they have Iono left. We're hoping they don't play any more than just two Iono, but the winning list only played the two, so hopefully they don't have any more. The Charmander. They do have another Charmander. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, now they can boss Palkia, and I'm forced to find a switch. Nope, they're Arvanine. Yeah, I should have attached to Palkia, man. I have no idea why I didn't do that. Hmm. We should be able to win in two turns. If they are out of Iono, we should be able to win this in two turns. We go knock out Charizard, knock out Pidgeot for game. We have another switch in the deck, though, right? Yeah. I think it's in there. I don't know if it's in the deck or not. I guess we're going to find out. There's the vacuum, sure. Get rid of the Lost City, whatever. Doesn't even matter. Hmm. That's fine. Yeah, getting rid of the Mawile actually is pretty good, the more I think about it. Because they could have won with Mawile on the Curlia. Because they could have went Mawile, I go switch, knock out, then they rot it back, do it again. There's nothing I can do about that. So they always win the deck out race, too. Okay. Burning Darkness. They actually stay in the active. They make my job easier. Okay, sure. There's Gallade. Okay, we're not going to make the same mistake twice. I don't know if I needed to put four in. Actually, no, putting four energy back is fine. We'll attach to Palkia. Refinement. Yeah, we got to switch. We're fine. Um, Do I risk them having the... I guess if they have Iona, we should always just put Galilee down just in case. Probably could have refinement it again, but every card is kind of good. We we'll have to get rid of one energy. We can keep the two energy, which makes it easier to knock out this thing down the road. Okay. All we have to do now is just knock out Pidgeot. We have game in hand. So let's see what our prizes are. Another energy. All right. That makes it easier to go Gallade boss for game. Ideally, it'd be better to go Curlier Curlier than Gallade boss. We'll see if they got it. I maybe could have switched into the other Blastoise, but I think it's fine to just stay in the active. I don't want to burn. I don't want to waste my other switch. We just save it. I don't think they have an Iono. If they have no Iono left, we do win the game. If they have an Iono, we still might lose. We just need a Retrieval, though, and we win. We'll see if they have another Iono or not. 
They need to have another Iono here to stop me. There's a Super Rod. Yeah, see, they could have maybe set up some, like, crazy play with... With the uh, thing... With the small while. Okay. No Iono, and we win. I don't think they have a way to save their Pidgeot. So, I think that's game. I think we did it, folks. Blastoise has beaten the regional winning Charizard deck. Yeah, that feels good. All right, and that's game. I mean, they came close to winning, right? It was because we had Palkia in play. If I don't have Palkia in play, I guess they still can't win the game. No, we would still lose the hit. No, yeah. If, if we didn't have Palkia in play, we would still lose. If I didn't have Palkia in play, we would still win probably. But yeah, we got game. We could just boss out the Pidgeot and then... Twin cannons for 280. Blastoise hitting that magic number on this big bird feels pretty darn good. Not going to lie. And that is game with Blastoise, Gallade, Curlia. Really digging the Curly engine in this deck. And there you go. We will take that dub against Charizard EX. The regional winning Charizard deck to be exact. So even better. All right, playing against Shen Pao here with Blastoise. Battle of the Water Pokemon. Unfortunately, um, we're going second, which puts my opponent at advantage. They have a Pokestop. Oh, they got to play it. They get no battle VIP. They get a heavy ball. All right, that's fine. They got the heavy ball. That might get him a Shen Pao or Greninja. It does get him a Shen Pao. You hate to see it. They had to have one prize, of course. So this matchup is whoever takes the first two prize kill. Ooh, Bravery Charm. That's super annoying. I was going to say, we could try to kill with Palkia, but now we have to Blast Oyster Shen Pao. All righty then. I see how it's going to be. Question is, do I play Pokestop? Tempted to? Kind of sucks. They did lose an Irida, though. Ooh, we drew a Artisan. I mean, we can definitely fill our board up here. We can probably go Cleffa this turn, actually. Oh, we don't have Palkia in the deck, though. Hmm. It's not good, actually. Cause I wanted to... I guess I can Irida for a switch. I want to make sure I get an energy on Squirtle here. So, yeah, we're going to go get Cleffa and Squirtle. We'll Irida for mana fee and switch. Bench Squirtle, bench mana fee, attach. Yeah, I ain't gonna play Pokestop. I'm not falling for it. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, it's not even a bad card to play. We actually do have a decent amount of outs here, but I'm not gonna bother. We're just gonna go into the Cleffa. And then hopefully Cleffa can get us into a knockout because I doubt we're gonna get Ionode. And yep, that is a pretty good hand. All we need is a single water energy, and we have a knockout on the Shen Pao with Blastoise. All right, not bad. Hopefully, they don't boss my Squirtle, though. That would be really bad, because, again, I got no Palkia. There's no Raihan in my hand. So, if they KO my Squirtle, this is pretty bad. We'll see, though. They need to find Rare Candy Max Caliber to do that. I did give him a free Artisan, which obviously gives him a free... Oh, Pidgey. I thought they were going to get a Fridgey Bax, but no, a Pidgey. So they're playing Pidgeot. Okay. And we keep the hand, which is good. And they do Irida, which unfortunately guarantees Rare Candy Blastoise. Or Rare Candy Bax Caliber. Yeah, Shampoo always has turn two Irida. I say this all the time, but they always have it. They always got that Irida turn two. Hmm. They didn't get a Bax Caliber. Do they not have Bax Caliber? No way. They're trolling. They definitely have Bax Caliber, right? If they actually don't knock out my Cleffa here, they're that's bait. Yeah, I was going to say, like, bro, take the knockout. I know you got it. Hmm. Can Iono here, I guess? But we have Irida. We have the Irida. Yeah, I can't Iono. What am I doing Iono, though, to get rid of their hand? But, you know, we have the, we have the Irida. They're building up Greninja. No, oh, maybe not. They're spreading the energy out. Okay, fair enough. I mean, do they have a boss Cologne combo next turn? That's pretty bad. But, yeah, we should hopefully get the KO. We just need a single water energy. And we KO the Shen Pao. Yeah, we just need one water and the Shen Pao's dead. So, hopefully we can find it. If we don't find it, I mean, that's pretty bad. It's not good. Hmm. That's Artisan to Thin. Go to the Ralts. We'll Irida. Grab this. Then we'll refinement. You'll love to see it. Rare candy blastoise into the knockout. Um we can get another Curlia. I don't think I, I think I'm just gonna hold the hand and just knock him out. There's no reason to get Curlia. I'm gonna hold it. 
could have maybe kept the Irida last turn instead of the Iono, but I think I want to keep Iono. Um, draw four more cards next turn. All right. Wouldn't be surprised if our prizes were Palkia, Palkia. No, Palkia water is good. More energy, the merrier. All right. As long as my opponent cannot kill Blastoise this turn, we're chilling. If they can kill Blastoise, we're going to be in a bit of a pickle. I'm just kind of hoping they can't knock it out. Again, we have a lot of HP here, but they can definitely get there. All they need is Shen Pao and Superior Retrieval, so I actually don't like our odds. We can Raihan for Gallade, though. Okay, they Super Rod here. They don't put any... Oh, they put two energy back. Yeah, it's not good. They actually might get this knockout. If they get an Irida, they just get... Why do they... How do they find Irida so easily, bro? I don't get it. Oh, Cross Switcher, though. So they're not knocking my Blast... They might be going for the Greninja here. Hmm, maybe I should have kept the Irida. But do they have the Cologne play? What are they bringing up? What are they bringing in? It's gotta be Manaphy, right? They could knock out Curly, I guess. It's only Curly we haven't played, but still. I'm surprised. All right, what are they going after here? All right. They almost could have had the knockout. That's scary. They do go after my Manaphy. So they're going to kill Manaphy to try to Greninja me. That's fine. I'm still probably going to win the game if they do that. Well, I guess... No, I guess that's not a terrible play. We just get Manaphy back, though. Now I'm regretting getting rid of that Irida. Would have actually been good to keep... Yeah, I should have kept the Irida. I should have got rid of the Iono. But I can Iono them if they knock out my Manaphy. I mean, if they killed Blastoise, I could have Iono them too. But, I mean, at that point, would have lost the game. We just had to hope Blastoise never got one shot. And thankfully, it's not dying here, so that's good. We're just going to Iono. I definitely should have kept Irida, though. Could have got Manaphy back in play, which we're going to have to do. Okay, that, they have one Irida left. Okay, let's see we draw. Anything good? Okay, there we go. Another Blastoise. It's pretty good in my books. Palkia might not be a bad card to keep around, but... I do Super Rod, right? Yeah, we do. I don't know if we're going to get the Manaphy back, but we'll see. Hopefully we can. I mean, I guess it is pretty bad if we don't. It's not ideal. All right, we can Iono. Should have kept Irida, but I also need this knockout. Irida would have guaranteed me the KO. I definitely should have kept Irida. Whiffed the Retrieval. Another Curly is good, though. Got another Curlia. We got Curlias for days. And they only have the one Bax Caliber in play. Hmm. Could put a Gallade in play here. Okay, there's one water. Losing research, though. Eh, it's fine. The other boss. Okay. Oof, no knockout. Wow, we actually whiffed the retrieval. Oh, God, we actually whiff. That's not good. Yikes. That's really bad that we did not get the knockout there. We actually ended up whiffing the knockout. Oh, wow. Color me surprise. That's pretty bad. Just gonna pass and hope they don't Greninja me or something. Now, if they go Greninja, I can just boss KO their back's caliber. But this is pretty bad. That was a huge whiff. That is really bad. I just gotta hope they don't got anything going on in their hand. That's really bad that I whiffed. It's really, really bad that I whiffed. I mean, Curly is good. We did triple Curly. The fact that we whiffed is actually kind of insane, to be honest. But yeah, this is pretty bad. That was not good. Now they can potentially snipe me here with Greninja. If they just find a retrieval, we're gonna see your Greninja. But they might not have it. They have. No, they got Rickety Pidgeot. That's not good either. They got Pidgeot. That guarantees them the KO of Greninja. Oh, God. Oh, boy. See, now I think we probably lose the game. If I had my other boss, I could have maybe kept it for the Bax Caliber. Yeah, it's pretty bad. They're, now they're going to just go Superior Retrieval and Greninja me. It's not good. Yeah, it's pretty bad, dude. I needed them to not have it, but they have Pidgeot. We might lose here. That knockout whiff is going to cost us a game. Because I probably could have won the following turn. Because I had boss. So I'll, whiffing there probably just cost me the game. I think if I didn't whiff there, I think I would have won this game. Because I had boss. And I could just, as long as I draw a retrieval, just I win by killing Shen Power Pidgeot. Super unfortunate. Wait, did they get a super rod? Wait, they didn't do retrieval. They got a super rod. No, they definitely have the knockout. There's no way they don't have a KO here with... Well, they have the Shen Pao knockout. Which, actually, if they Shen Pao here, that's fine. 
because then I can get Manaphy back in play. I was going to say they should be going Greninja. So we can knock out Bax Caliber here, which we're going to have to do. I wish I maybe kept that other boss around now that I'm thinking about it. I should have maybe kept the other boss. That's annoying. Yeah, I maybe should have kept the other boss around. We can kill the Pidgeot, I guess, which could make it hard on them too. It's also an option. I don't know what I like more. Yeah, it sucks. I whiffed the KO there. I would have won if I didn't whiff the KO. Feels bad, man. There it is. We were like two cards short, of course. No! So yeah, we boss KO back Caliber, and then they have no way to attack the following turn. I should have kept the other boss. I think I'm going to lose because I didn't keep the other boss. Honestly, killing Pidgeot might be our best bet. And we just hope they don't get 7 energy in play. If they just get a retrieval, though, we're dead. They have a 2-card hand. If I kill the Bax Caliber, we still have to take 3 prizes. And then they can just get another Fridgey Bax with Pidgeot. If I had my other boss, I would 100% kill Bax Caliber. I think I have to take out Pidgeot. I think... I don't know. We're probably going to lose. I'm not... I'm not convinced we're winning this, unfortunately. I think we're still going to lose... We needed to just not whiff that KO that one turn. But, yeah, I think we're probably going to lose this. I don't really see a way out, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't see a way out. We'll see. I have to kill the Pidgey. I just hope they can't kill Blastoise. That's something, nothing I can do. I think we're going to take an L here. I think we're going to take the L. If I kept my other boss, I think I would have won. But, I don't know. We'll see what we got off the things here. There's Palkia. There's another energy. All they need to do is get seven energy and play to kill Blastoise. We are going to make them go for it. We'll see. If I had, yeah, if I had another boss, I 100% would have killed the Baxcalibur. That probably would have won me the game, but I got rid of the boss. Pokestop, that's not good. That, if they, they just get a retrieval, the game's over, and that's game. So they get four energy back. Yeah, and they just blow my Blastoise up. Shampo, I mean, it's not even a bad matchup. If we had Palkia, we would have been okay. We just got super unlucky. We whiffed the KO that turn. And there you have it. Blastoise CX really did impress me in today's video. We did take a bit of a rough L to Shen Pao there, which, again, had we just not whiffed that KO or maybe held the boss's orders, I most likely would have won that game. Um, but I do like the Curly Engine. I think the Curly Engine really suits Blastoise nicely because the thing I found with Bibberl is that you can't Bibberl after you do Retrieval. You have to Bibberl first. But I, with Curlia, you can just build up a ginormous hand and just go from there. Um, but yeah, I like this deck a lot. It felt good. The Cleffa was really good, too, to try to build up a hand. Everything kind of felt nice. Um, I don't know if I really changed the list at all. I think the list is pretty solid, all things considered. Um, other than maybe playing, like, an 11th energy, you could play Letter of Encouragement. That's not even a bad idea, either. Letter of Encouragement also could be a good one of in this deck, too. But that'll be it for me on my Blastoise EX deck. If you enjoyed the video today on Blastoise, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Again, we're trying to reach 49 slash 50,000 subscribers. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Check our card cabin. If you get any codes, use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shuffle Squad, the second channel, and the podcast channel, the Mental Might Podcast, down below that I co-host with Linty. And you can also check out... Um, anything else that I have linked down below, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on another 151 deck video. Bye-bye.